in a case that's gripped the nation, the jury in Donald Trump's civil defamation trial has received their instructions from Judge Lewis Kaplan and are now set to deliberate on a verdict. The scene was tense, the air thick with anticipation. The former president, an imposing figure, remained in the courtroom during the rebuttal from E. Jean Carroll's attorney, a departure from his previous behavior. Carroll's attorney presented a strong argument, asserting that Trump believes he is above the law and that he sexually assaulted and defamed Carroll. The attorney acknowledged that Carroll has become more known due to her allegations against Trump, but argued that this recognition is overshadowed by the negative reputation she has received. He also pushed back against Trump's defense argument that Carroll enjoys the attention she has received since coming forward. He made it clear that Carroll's life has been anything but easy since she made her allegations public. On the other side of the courtroom, Trump's attorney presented a contrasting argument. They suggested that Carol's allegations had allowed her to return to the lavish lifestyle she once enjoyed. They reiterated that Trump has consistently denied the allegations. They also questioned Carol's credibility and argued that Trump does not condone the hateful messages sent to Carol. However, this argument was met with a stern admonishment from Judge Kaplan, who accused Trump's attorney of violating his instructions and warned of potential consequences. In a surprising move, Trump returned to the defense table after briefly leaving during Carroll's attorney's presentation. Trump's attorney then delivered her closing argument, highlighting the media frenzy and public profile surrounding the case. So here we are, the jury is out, the arguments have been made, and the world waits with bated breath. Will the former president be found guilty in this civil defamation case, or will he be exonerated? Only time will tell. This trial has been a roller coaster ride with twists and turns at every corner. It has shown a spotlight on issues of power, credibility, and the rule of law. In summary, this trial has been a clash of narratives, a battle of wills. On one side, Carol's attorney argues that Trump believes he is above the law and has sexually assaulted and defamed Carol. On the other, Trump's attorney argues that Carol's allegations have given her a lavish lifestyle and questions her credibility. Now the decision rests in the hands of the jury. As we wait for their verdict, one thing is clear. This trial has left an indelible mark on the nation, regardless of its outcome.